coming up in this video, I'm going back home with one of my favourite party brands. This is Dead Man's Fingers a Coconut Flavoured Rum. I've got a quick review. I'm going to tell you what it smells and tastes like. Uh, I've got some highball serves that are going to just simple, simple serves for you to make at home. And right at the end of the video, I've got an amazing, this time a low calorie cocktail for you. Stay tuned. Hey rum fans, Steve the Barman here and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced or in this case flavoured rums. If you love what I've been doing then let me know in the comments below, drop me a comment, let me a rum that you would love me to feature as well, spiced rums mainly or flavoured rums uh, and let's get some chats going online. Right then, so why do I get so excited about Dead Man's Fingers? Well, it's nothing to do with the actual base liquid or anything like that, it's the brand and what it represents and where it comes from. Uh, for those of you that have been following me for a long time will know very well that I am Cornish. This originated not too far away from where I was born. This is a, a little place called the Rum and Crab Shack in St Ives, right in the harbour bit there. Really lovely pub, really known for obviously their seafood and their crab. But they started making rums, God knows when. Um, the normal sort of spiced rum has been around a long, long time. The coconut and the coffee that I haven't featured yet either, uh, I've been around a couple of years now. They were a couple of different flavour extensions. Uh, but Dead Man's Fingers have kind of turned their attention to their new hemp uh, rum that's been around now about eight or nine months. This is my go-to coconut rum. Uh, when you think about it, Malibu uh, is not a coconut rum. It's a coconut rum uh, spirit drink liqueur. It's only 20% ABV. It's lovely. Don't get me wrong if you love your coconut stuff, uh, but it's not a coconut rum. This 37.5% and there's something about the brand as well, Dead Man's Fingers. It's not trying to be pretentious, it's not trying to be proper rum or anything like that. It just represents fun and really lovely tasty drinks. Have to say as well, I'm still not on the new bottle, the new shape bottles of uh, Dead Man's Fingers coconut or coffee. Admittedly, I haven't ordered a bottle since the tail end of August. It's not really masterclass, cocktail masterclass season uh, for what I do is more parties. So I don't use as much of this at this time of year, um, but the normal, they have rebranded. So what does it smell like? Well, it's not really gonna surprise you. There is not much else coming off there. Yes, I can smell rum, but 90% of my sort of the aroma for me is taken up by coconut. Taste-wise though, this is where it comes into its own for coconut rums for me. There are a few other uh, coconut rums on the market, but for me, I th this is my favorite one. I really, really do like it. Not simply because of the brand. I actually do like the liquid at all. It's not overly sweet compared to some other coconut rums. It's still trying to be a rum. You do kind of get that rum kick in there as well. I say there's not much else on it on the palate at all. There's no sort of spices or anything like that for me. It's just coconut and rum. So what can you drink it with? Where are we going with mixers? Well, first off, the obvious one, as you would do a Malibu or anything like that, Malibu's probably biggest known serve is Coke. Those two just work very, very well for me. There's no point playing around with any of the, the signatures. I think they're completely wasted on that. As I say, it's just trying to be a fun drink, that's all. When it comes to the gingers for me, it's something that I personally don't like. I personally don't feel that they work ginger and coconut. Some people it's going to. Uh, for me, it's a no though. I do not like them with that coconut rum. The Schweppes 1783 Muscovado Dark Spirit Mixer. Yes, it says dark spirits in there, but there's just something about the taste that goes very, very well with coconut. I really like that combination. But the three sort of fun party drinks I want to focus on are these. So let's go Ting first off. Ting's grapefruit, grapefruit and coconut goes really well together. You kind of get those tropical vibes. Again, nothing complicated about it. It's just a really, really lovely uh, highball and mixed drink. And then we go on to the out and out stars of the show for me, pineapple. Pineapple and coconut, 
match made in heaven of course they're going to work this is old jamaica's pineapple soda which is a little bit sweeter than fentamins it's just nothing else in it think lilt without the grapefruit it is a lovely lovely drink but then my favorite one because my palate is changing now over the years i'm getting a less sweeter tooth i really like fentamins pineapple soda with this i just think those two go very very well together i've just sort of done a video about um the pineapple soda again for me if you want to know all about that go and check out that video coconut pineapple absolutely amazing really recommend those two right as i said at the top i've got a cocktail for you and this is a low calorie cocktail for you as well you kind of guess the lines that i'm going on i'm going to use my pineapple uh, tiki glass so we are going to make a kind of a low calorie pina colada uh, there was no cream involved there is no other coconut involved other than that um, but the mixer is where this changes so the first thing you need to do is take your glass pour in 50 ml or a bit more if you want to 50 ml of your coconut rum next ingredient you want 15 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice so one five The next ingredient you want is orgeat. Orgeat is kind of an almond syrup. I absolutely love it in pina coladas. It just sets it off a little treat for me. Proper orgeat like this one will have a little touch of vanilla in and a little bit of orange flower water in it as well. But other brands orgeat are just purely almond syrups. So just 10 ml of orgeat syrup. Now for your final ingredient, this is where the low calorie bit comes in. This is Franklin's and Sons pineapple soda water with a hint of cardamom, 75 ml. That's what you want. And if you're wondering the calorie content of well, I've just read the back of the bottle. So per 100 ml, bearing in mind I've used 75, per 100 ml, there's 18 calories, that's it. Next, you just wanna fill your glass with crushed ice. Take a long spoon and just uh, top up with a bit more crushed ice. Then to garnish, as you would any pina colada, nice sort of slice of pineapple. Pineapple spear, pineapple leaf, and then serve with a straw. That is my low calorie pina colada with Dead Man's Fingers and Franklin's and Sons uh, pineapple and cardamom soda water. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been Steve the Barman. I'll see you in the next video.